Hello and welcome to Lux Tutorial. My name is Abhishek Gupta and today we are going to discuss about the ICAC class 9 physics syllabus. Now before starting with the physics syllabus, the code is already there in the description box. You can use that code for purchasing any book from Oswald Publications. Now let us start with the syllabus part. So watch the video till the end to understand the detailed analysis of the reduction of your syllabus. Now I will go with the syllabus a bit slowly so that you can write those things in your copy and you can make a note of these things. Now let us start with the first chapter. Now in the first chapter, measurement and experimentation, the topic that has been excluded is vernier caliper and screw rod. So you don't have to study these two topics anymore. Now let us go to the second chapter. The second chapter is motion in one dimension. In that chapter, the topic that has been excluded is the graphical representation of linear motion. So all the graphical representation of uh, speed, then displacement, then acceleration, these graphical representation as well as the numericals based on that one has been excluded from this chapter. Moreover, the derivation of the three equation of motion, mostly v square is equal to u square plus 2as, s is equal to ut plus half at and v is equal to u plus at. In these three derivations are not there, only the application of the formula is there. So you just have to remember the formula, apply those formula in numericals and that's it. No derivation is required. Now coming to the third chapter, laws of motion, no changes are there in this chapter. So you have to study the entire chapter. Now coming to the fourth chapter, pressure in fluids and atmospheric pressure. In this chapter, only the examples of Pascal law has been excluded. So you don't have to read the examples of Pascal law, just read the definition of Pascal law and then you can start with the numericals. So this is the topic that has been excluded from the fourth chapter. Now let us come to the fifth chapter that is upthrust in fluids, Archimedes principle and flotation. Now in this chapter all the topics is still there that means there is no such change in this particular chapter. Now let us go to the next chapter. The next chapter is chapter number 6 heat and energy. In this there are major changes over here. The energy flow and its importance all are excluded from your syllabus. That means no need to study these topics anymore. And then the energy sources, what are the different kind of energy sources? Those topics are also excluded from your syllabus. And in the greenhouse effect and global warming, you just need to study only the definition. Rest all parts are being excluded. So a major chunk of this chapter, that means heat and energy has been excluded from this syllabus. Now let us go to the seventh chapter that is reflection of light. Now in this chapter, the formula F is equal to R by 2, that means focal length is equal to radius by 2, this is excluded. That means no derivation need to be done from this topic. The sign convention also in this chapter has been excluded. That means no need to remember the sign convention. That means if you are going upwards, it should be positive. If you are going downwards, it should be negative. That part need not to be studied. Then the numericals problem using the mirror formula that means 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v that formula that has been excluded from your syllabus. So these are the topics that has been excluded from the chapter number 7 that is reflection of light. Now let us go to the next chapter that is propagation of sound wave. In that chapter everything is still included, no such changes is there in that chapter. So you have to basically study the entire chapter. Then coming to the current electricity part, in the case of current electricity, the entire syllabus is still present. That means no changes are there in that chapter. The entire chapter remains intact. Now let us go to the 10th chapter that means the magnetism. Now in the case of magnetism, the electromagnetic part and the uses of that one has been excluded from your syllabus. So this is the topic that has been excluded from magnetism. Now these things that I am saying, that means these chapters that I am saying, all are from the concise physics book. That means I am basically referring the concise physics in this particular case. So these are the major changes from your syllabus 
and it is more or less about 25% of your syllabus. Now the question is that whether the topic that has been excluded from your syllabus is there a problem that means whether it creates a very huge impact in the learning process. Now the answer to this question is not really because those chapters that are excluded or those topics that are excluded mostly are there in your class 11 syllabus. You will study those topics in details in class 11 and those topics that have been excluded like the major portions like you can say that in refraction of light then in heat energy those major portions where it is excluded in those cases you need not worry these are topics that are still there in class 11 so you will recapitulate those things in class 11 so that is not a big problem and coming to the point of view of the students that what will be the new pattern of the marking scheme or what will be the new pattern of the question paper that totally depends on the council I'm pretty much sure that the council will come up with the sample papers this year and more publishers will also come up with the sample papers based on that specimen copy of the council paper so if you like the video press the thumbs up button click on the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell notification and do comment in the comment box that which other subject you want me to cover up for the reduction part that means for the reduced syllabus so comment in the comment box so that I will be coming up with those videos where I will be discussing about the other subjects too so thank you for watching the video stay tuned stay connected let's meet in the next video we will discuss few more things on some other topics in the next video so take care goodbye that's all for today let's meet in the other video